गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स जय स्वामी नारायण टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फॉर्मूला फॉर जनरेटर एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सम्स फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज 8.2 सो Let us revise the binomial expansion formula, and the formula is a plus b raised to n. Now the first term in the formula is n c zero a raised to n b raised to zero. This is the first. Term. From second term onwards, there are three changes. All of you know. In MCR, R increases by one. Power of A decreases by one, and power of B increases by one. So N C one A is to N minus one B is to one. Last. n c2 a is to n minus 2 b square up to the last term n c n a is to 0 b is to n this is the last term in last term the powers of a and b students are flip flopped in the last term the powers of a and b students are flip flopped this is how we remember and memorize the formula now students if i write the terms individual terms the first term i call as t1 it is nothing but n c 0 A is to n minus zero. B is to zero. Whatever r is there, one greater than that. Power of a is the difference of n and r, and power of b is r. Power of a is the difference of n and r in MCR, and power of b is r itself. P two. Then. N C one power of A is the difference of N and R. Power of B is R, and here what is greater than R. So T two, then T three will be N C two A raised to N minus two B raised to. In general, T R plus one because here if it is R, I have to add is N C R A raised to N minus R. To R, this E is to this. The general term of binomial theorem. You don't have to remember the derivation, but students, you have to definitely memorize the formula. So, what is the technique? Whatever term you have to obtain, the value of R should be one less than that. Suppose you want to obtain third term, then take here R is equal to two. Because if I take R is equal to three, then I will get the fourth term. So the consideration of R, the logic of R, whatever number term students we have to obtain. One less than that, we have to take the value of R. Suppose I want to obtain fifth term, I will take R is equal to four. Suppose I want to obtain eighth term, I will take R is equal to seven, like that. Students. So this is the formula for general term. So this is general term formula. Of binomial theorem. So today, students, we 
we are going to discuss all the songs of exercise 8.2 especially the first six songs based on now we are starting exercise 8.2 question 3 and 4 first we will do question 3, 4 then 5, 6 and then 1, 2 ok students so exercise 8.2 answer 3 uh, given expansion is given expansion is x square minus y to the power 6 we have to obtain students the general term now students we will write this as comparing x square plus minus y is to 6 so the formula of a plus b is to n is applied for a minus b is to n also comparing this with a plus b is to n we get a is equal to x square b is equal to minus y and a is equal to 6 this is what students we have to understand so this is like a algorithm the first step we write the values of a b and then we write the formula general term t r plus is equal to n c r a raised to n minus r d raised to r substituting the values of a b n we get t r plus 1 is equal to 6 cr x square raised to 6 minus r minus y raised to in general term students in general term we do not substitute the value of r the basis of power indices this is written as minus 1 into y is to r so it is minus 1 raised to r y is to r so we write this as minus 1 raised to r 6 here powers are multiplied so 12 minus 2 r y is to r this is our answer for the integral term of the given expansion so students, the general term sums are very easy. It is like an algorithm. The first step you compare the given expansion with a plus b to the power n and note down the values of students a, b and n. In the second step write the formula for general term and in the third step students substituting the values of a b and a and simplifying with the base of power and indices we get the answer ok let us do the fourth sum it is x square minus y x is to 12 so students pay attention and it is in this much the values of a b and then we will definitely change and this is answer 4 x square minus y x is to 12 x square minus y x is to 12 and our 
cos x is a non-zero while x is zero, then we can say expansion vanishes. So comparing x square plus minus y x raised to 12 with a plus b raised to n, a is x square, b is minus y x and n is 12. So students, as per the algorithm, this goes. No change. The questions 3 and 4 are done by a similar logic. They are done by a similar concept. So substituting the values of n and n, we get n is 12, so 12 cr x square raised to n minus r, so 12 minus r minus y x raised to r. Now this is written as minus 1 into y x raised to r and that is minus 1 raised to r into y x raised to r. Fundamentals of power and indices a into b raised to n is equal to a raised to n, b raised to n. This is such a topic of mathematics where your all fundamentals from standard 5 to standard 11 are applied at a time. So this is written as minus 1 raised to r 12 cr power 7 multiplied x raised to 24 minus 2r, y raised to r, x raised to r. y x raised to r is further simplified as y raised to r, x raised to r. When ways are same, we can add powers 2 raised to 3 into 2 raised to 5 is 2 raised to 3 plus 5. So here the ways are same, so I can add the powers in minus 1. Our <coughs> answer of general term. So now we have done two sums based on general term of the binomial expansion. So students, I think you would have easily understood how to do the sum based on this algorithm. Now, students, question 5 and question 6 are for specific terms. Whenever we are going to find a specific term of the binomial expansion, our first part of the sum is to write the general term given with the same, you can say, concept as we have done in questions 3 and 4. So, whenever, students, you are told to find a specific term in the binomial expansion. The first target or the first part of this directly means to go for the general term. So it is x minus twice y is to 12. Answer 5. Given expansion x minus 2y is to 12. And we are going to find the fourth term, T4. So whenever we are told to find a specific term in the binomial expansion, so it's our first target is to write the general term. So I start with the first step comparing. x plus minus 2y raised to 12 with a plus b to the power n we get a is equal to x b is equal to minus 2y and 
is equal to value. So this is a fundamental basic step which we have done in question 3 and 4. Now students generally term in the expansion is T R plus 1 is equal to N C R A raised to N minus R B is to R substituting the values of A, B and N substituting the values of A, B and N we get T R plus 1 is 12 C R A is X is to 12 minus R B is minus 2 R is to R I can further simplify and write this as minus 2 is to R 12 C R X is to 12 minus R Y is to R So this is the word general term So indirectly this are the steps which are to already followed in questions 3 and 4 students. So these are the basic fundamental steps. Now I told you we want to find T4. So whatever number term we have to find, we have to take the value of R 1 less than that. If I want to find fourth term, I will take R is equal to 3. If I want to find eighth term, I will take R is equal to 7. If I want to find a fifteenth term, I will take R is equal to 14. So we write for T4 substituting R is equal to 3 in result 1. So T3 plus 1 is T4 minus 2Q 12C3 X is 12 minus 3Y is 2 minus 2Q is a minus 8 this is 12 factorial upon 3 factorial equal to 9 factorial X is to 9 Y is to 3 75 you get your so, to reduce 12 factorial students up to 9 factorial and 75, that is your answer. So, whenever we have sums of a specific term, whenever students we have sums of a specific term, then students we have to first find greater and depending upon the number of term we substitute appropriate value of R. Now students term number 6 the expansion is 9x minus 1 by 3 root x is to 80. And here we are supposed to find the 13th term. Okay, so let us erase this and write the given expansion. So A, B, and then we of course change, and this will also change. Okay, students, now. All of you please concentrate. Sum number 6, the given expansion is 9x minus minus 1 upon 3 root x raised to 18 and of course x is a non-zero like because x is zero. Then the denominator becomes undefined. So compare 9x plus minus 1 
by d root x raised to 18 with a plus b raised to n a is 9x b is minus 1 by 3 root x and n is 18 so first of all we have to write the general term so this becomes 18 cr a is 9x raised to 18 minus r b is minus 1 by 3 root x raised to r students your fundamentals of power and indices must be very clear otherwise you are bound to make a mistake simplify I will get minus 1 by 3 raised to r. Taking CR as it is 9 raised to 18 minus r, x raised to 18 minus r upon root x raised to r. So this is result 1. Now we are going to find the 13th term. So we are going to find T13. To find T13, we should take R is equal to 12. So substituting R is equal to 12 in result 1, we get, I am writing here, so this T12 plus 1, 13. Minus 1 by 3 raised to 12. 18 C 12. 9 raised to 18 minus 12. X raised to 18 minus 12 is 6. And root X raised to 12. So this is X raised to 6. It gets cancelled. Minus 1 raised to 12 is plus 1. 3 raised to 12. 18 factorial. 12 factorial into 6. 9 is 3 square. This is 9 raised to 6, which is 3 square raised to 6. So 3 raised to 12. So in this case, can you simply find whatever answer you get? So naturally, this is the sum of constant term also, students. What do you mean by a constant term? A term in the expansion without a variable is called a constant term. That 18 C, uh, C 12 students that I haven't simplified, but I am very sure that much all of you can manage on your own. Reduce 18 factorial up to 12 factorial and 6 factorial to 7. Simplify, you get the answer students. Now we are doing questions 1 and 2. Students, now we are doing questions 1 and 2. The logic, the concept is only one, and that is the generator in the binomial expansion. That students we have to use and simplify to get the answer. Now here we are going to find coefficients. Find the coefficients of x raised to 5. Coefficient of x raised to 5 is the expansion of x plus 3 is to 8. Given expansion is x plus 3 to the power 8. So, as usual, the first step is comparing x plus 3 raised to 8 with a plus b raised to n. We get a is equal to x. 
is to our why because small a are already students given in the expansion so the general term which we are going to be equals to r a is to equal to minus r minus 2 to r so minus 2 to r equals to r a is to equal to minus r a is to r this is a result one now you want power of a is 5 so compare this power So R is seven. So substituting R is equal to seven in result one. The term will be eight. So T A to T B minus two is to seven. Twelve C seven A is to five. T is to seven. So this will be minus two. Seven is minus one twenty eight twelve factorial upon seven factorial into five into a is to five b is to seven so minus one twenty eight twelve ten nine eight five factorial is one twenty one twenty gets cancelled so finally coefficient. So today's all six terms are based on only one concept, and that is the general term. Next time we will do the sums of middle term of binomial expansion. Here, students, we conclude the lecture. Thank you.